Hey guys, so today I want to show you one of Jennifer and my favorite summertime dinners and that is uh, grilled uh, shrimp fajitas. Although actually very little about the recipe that I'm about to show you, uh, it really resembles a traditional fajita and I'm not even sure that the fajita I'm used to at local Mexican restaurants is traditional, but mine isn't even very much like that. So I probably shouldn't even call it a fajita, well, you know, maybe it's more properly called, uh, you know, grilled shrimp and pepper tortillas or something like that. But in any case, it's a favorite of ours. Uh, this is based on some recipe I found on the internet for grilled shrimp fajitas a long time ago, but I haven't looked at that recipe in a while. I just kind of make it up a little differently every time. Uh, but I want to show you uh, my approach to the process and... Um, also, just to let you know, it sort of hinges on having a device like this a grill basket that allows you to put vegetables and things like shrimp and close them up in here and do them on the grill. Uh, so we will be needing one of these. I think I got mine at Williams Sonoma. Uh, I'm sure they're available lots of other places. Uh, but you know, with that, uh, let's get going. All right. So the first step is going to be to make a marinade for the shrimp and. What I've got already in my bowl here is about one third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And to that I'm going to add uh, some lime juice. I'm going to start with the juice of half a lime here. Probably going to use at least one whole lime. But, you know, some limes are limeier than others. Uh, some are juicier, so I'm going to start with the juice of half a one there and we'll see how far it gets us. And I'm also going to add about a couple tablespoons of soy sauce and that is the the liquid beginning to our marinade now I'm gonna add a nice collection of spices um, you know there's this is more art than science in my opinion and you can do it to your own personal uh, you know palate preferences but some chili powder is a very good place to start with this so that's a nice healthy portion of chili powder I'm gonna add a little dash of cumin uh, a little bit of ginger. I've got some of my Hungarian sweet paprika. I'm going to add a teaspoon or two of that. About a teaspoon and a half of paprika. Um, I've got a little bit of garlic powder here. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to add some red pepper flakes for some heat. And I'm also going to add some sriracha, which is a sort of Asian hot sauce for some additional heat, a different kind of heat. Jennifer likes it spicy. I'm happy to oblige. Uh, so that's a good start. Now I'll mix it up and uh, give it a taste. Oh, I'm also going to microplane in some fresh garlic because, come on, you can't have too much garlic. I got two giant cloves of garlic there as a start. Oh, and I almost forgot we're going to need a little bit of salt, too. I think, well, maybe there's enough from the soy sauce. I'll taste it first. So there's the garlic. Gorgeous. All right, so I'll mix it up and see how we're doing. All right, so nice and mixed up, and let's see. Mm. It's not bad. I'm going to let that sit for a minute and see how the flavors settle. So I just added a dash of salt and I let this sit for a minute or two and stirred it up some more and gave it a taste and it's tasting pretty good. Nice balance of flavors, little you know tanginess from the, the lime juice, some nice heat. Uh, but I'm going to let it sit for another 5 or 10 minutes while I get the shrimp ready and then I'll taste it again because the flavor of a, a spice mixture marinade, marinade like this can definitely evolve a little bit as everything kind of incorporates uh, over time. All right, so now it's time to uh, get my shrimp ready for the marinade. I'm using these frozen shrimp uh, that we got at Whole Foods, uh, Wild Key West pink shrimp, 36 to 40 per pound. Uh, I really don't have any you know, particular brand that I'm in love with. The frozen shrimp are fine, just make sure they're uncooked. Um, these have the shell on. Sometimes they don't have the shell on. They almost always at least have the tail on though. And before we put them in the marinade, we want to remove both the shell uh, and the tail. So that's what I'm going to do right now uh, is just pull the shell off of each of these. And you know I pulled these out of the freezer close to two hours ago. 
I've just got them in the strainer over the sink. I've run it under cold water just a couple of times in that period to try and accelerate the thawing process. The shrimp don't take too long to thaw. Definitely don't need to leave them out all day. Um, but you know, I can just I can tell by touching them that they're no longer frozen through. It feels fleshy, uh, so I know that they're thawed. They're ready to be marinated just as soon as I get all these shells off. There's no science to this that I'm aware of. Just grab on the you know back side there between the legs and peel the shell back um, quickly and carefully. Sometimes at the end you can just pull the tail off instead of peeling it, um, which is a good method, but doesn't always pull off, then you've got to peel it. Did I just realize that it's easier to pull the tail off and then take the shell off from around the body? Hmm. I think that might be a little faster. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a little easier. I didn't realize that. Usually when I buy these frozen shrimp, the shell is off. It's just the tail that's on. So I haven't peeled the whole shrimp in a while. But now I'm thinking if I pull the tail off, then just leave the shell around the side, it actually makes it easier to pull this off. And then the tail's already gone. Yeah, that's a good method. So first just squeeze the tail at the bottom, try and pull it off, and then unwrap the shell. Any way you get it done is good. So there we have the shrimp and now I'm just going to blot them on both sides with a paper towel to try to remove the excess water. And there we go, these shrimp are ready to be marinated. All right, so I let my uh, spice mixture sit for about five, 10 minutes, and I tasted it again. I added some more fresh garlic. I added another, I added about half of the other half of the lime juice, so another quarter of a lime's worth of fresh lime juice. I added a little more ginger, just a little extra salt, um, and I, I think we've got a very nice balance here. Now, to be clear, like when you taste this, it doesn't actually taste good. It's uh, all it is is all the spice. All it is is all the spice, and the texture isn't very pleasing at all. Uh, but I'm just looking for a balance of flavors. I'm looking for something that is exciting, you know, that excites my palate, but that doesn't, you know, that's not too dominantly spicy or um, or uh, tangy uh, or anything <laughs> or salty. Uh, and so we've got a nice balance here, so I think we're ready to go. I've transferred my shrimp to this uh, one gallon Ziploc plastic bag, and now I'm just going to pour this marinade over the shrimp. And once I get all that in there, I will uh, try and get most of the air out of this bag and then zip it up and then toss the shrimp uh, well to make sure I get them coated on all sides. And then I'm going to put this bag in the fridge and we're going to let the shrimp marinate for about half an hour. Um, anywhere between 20 and 30 or 40 minutes is probably good. Uh, I think you want at least 20 minutes to, to give the flavor a chance to, uh, to permeate the shrimp. However, you don't want to do this for too long. An hour or more I think would be too long. You'd start to lose the delicate shrimpy flavor. Uh, which is not something that we want to do. We don't want to overpower the natural flavor of the shrimp. We just want to accent it with all these great spice flavors. So I've got, given this a nice coating, I'm going to put it in the fridge now. And hopefully after about 15 minutes, I'll remember to flip it over and give it another 15. And then these shrimp will be very, very happy and ready to grill.
Okay, so while the shrimp is marinating in the fridge, I can prepare these peppers. And we're also going to get the peppers started on the grill before we put the shrimp on, so the peppers take longer to cook. Uh, I've got here three bell peppers, uh, one of each color. Uh, not green, though, because I have two green poblano peppers. You know, it's traditional to use bell peppers in fajitas. I love poblanos, so I'm using a mixture. I've got five of them. That should be plenty of pepper. Uh, you know, it's, it's traditional in fajitas also to use onion. Um, if you want to add onion to this recipe, by all means, go for it. Uh, you just uh, basically do the same thing to the onions that I'm doing to these peppers. Uh, in my house, we're not huge fan of onions. Actually, I love onion, but my breath doesn't love it. Uh, so it's easy enough to omit it from this recipe. Uh, so I'm just going to get a nice chop on these peppers. And, you know, we're making... Um, making fajitas, so we're going to eat this inside a tortilla, which is a bit delicate, so we don't want these to be too huge, but at the same time the peppers are going to cook down on the grill a bit, and we don't want them to turn completely to chars, so we can't make them too thin either, so just kind of a nice medium sized uh, cut uh, is ideal. So there we have our chopped peppers. All right, so I've got my grill preheating over medium high heat, and now it's time to dress up these peppers a little bit. Uh, so I've got a bit of olive oil uh, spray in a can here, and I'm gonna add uh, some salt and pepper, and then a, you know, a bunch of the spices that we put in the marinade. Not quite exactly the same, but uh, I'm gonna get a little chili powder, just a dash of cumin, A little bit of the garlic powder. And just a little bit of this Hungarian sweet paprika. All right, so now I'm gonna just give these guys a little mix. Maybe spray a little more oil in there to help it all get in evenly spread and incorporated. Alright, and now what I'm going to do is lay these peppers out over my uh, grill basket, which I'm also going to spray uh, with the oil. Can't have too much oil really on the grill. It, it cooks off and it just helps everything be easy, not stick and develop a nice crust. So I'm going to try to get the vegetables laid out in a relatively even layer here. You can see what that looks like. I can see that several of them fell through, so I'm going to scoop those up. This isn't always the most graceful process in the world, but it does get the job done. Okay, so now we close the lid and there's this little latch here. You can see that I slide over um, to close it up and this is ready to go on the grill. All right, so like I said, I've got the grill nicely preheated over medium high heat. And now I just added the grill basket. Uh, it's going to be about, I don't know, maybe four minutes aside to get a nice char going on these peppers, but not totally uh, incinerate them. Um, so I'm going to check in a couple minutes and see how we're doing. And then after these peppers have a nice head start, we're going to add the shrimp. We're going to pull it out of the marinade and put it right there in the basket with the peppers. So while the veggies are grilling, I'll show you what I've got here for toppings. I guess first of all, the tortillas, we've got these very yummy blue corn and flaxseed blend tortillas from Mission. Uh, these are just, they're very soft and uh, delicious. Highly recommend them, but you can use whatever kind of tortilla you like. I've got some uh, shredded cotija cheese left over from last week. Got a bit of sour cream. 
got this guacamole from Whole Foods that is always delicious. And I've got this uh, Frontera Grill Salsa, uh, Chipotle Salsa that we tried last week, which was very good. Uh, so these will make for some great toppings for our fajitas. So after about four minutes on the first side, we've got a nice char going on those peppers. They're looking great. Probably give them about three minutes on the other side and then add the shrimp. So when you serve these fajitas, you definitely want to serve them with warm tortillas. And my favorite way of warming the tortillas is to wrap them in foil and just put them out on the grill. So that's another thing I can do while the vegetables are cooking, is uh, fold, this, um, fold these tortillas up in foil and get them ready to throw on the grill in just a minute. All right, so I put, just pulled these peppers off the grill and now I'm just gonna layer the shrimp right on top. All right, so I use my handy tongs to pull the shrimp out of the bag and put them in a nice even layer here. And now I'm gonna close my grill basket back up and put it back on the grill uh, shrimp side down. All right, so I've got the shrimp on the grill, uh, kind of shrimp side down here. I'm gonna give it maybe two, not more than three minutes on this side, probably about two minutes, maybe flip it over very, very briefly and then they'll be done. These shrimp cook quick. All right, so after about two minutes, I flipped them over, gave them about one minute on the other side, and I think these shrimp are done. Just a moment ago, I threw my uh, tortillas in foil on the grill. I'll leave them on there for a few more minutes while we get everything else ready. Now I'm gonna take this in by grabbing the very hot basket with my oven mitt, setting it down here on this uh, tray so that it doesn't drip, and I can carry it in easily. All right, so I've got everything back inside, and now I can use my tongs to um, serve our fajitas. Just gonna try and pull all the peppers and shrimp into this little serving dish. And I've already got all the sides out on the table, and we'll be ready to go. My favorite way to do this is as a build-your-own fajita thing. I think that's um, a fairly traditional way to do it. That way everyone gets to control exactly how much of all the different condiments they want. These peppers are looking great, though. Uh, the whole thing just smells fantastic. So here we have the almost final spread. I'm just giving the tortillas one more minute on the grill, but we've got our shrimp and peppers here, uh, salsa cheese, guac, and sour cream and we're almost ready to go. I want to show my people how you make yours too. Well, it's hard to do it one-handed no, as a director. It's the same people. You want me to, filming. Do you want me to hold both cameras? It's fine. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> okay, so first we put on a, hello? A nice layer of guacamole. Yes, got it. This Oops. is just oh. my version. <laughs> this is not everybody's version. Then right. I put on, with this size, I put on about four or five shrimps and a bunch of whatever else I happen to grab with my tongs. <laughs> AKA peppers. AKA peppers. I don't want to come too full, you know. Then I put on a generous helping of salsa. Salsa. Because I love me some salsa. And then we put on a nice sprinkling of whatever this is. Cotija. Yeah, that one. And then we wrap it up, and then we eat it. I'm not eating it on camera. Oh, okay. But, <laughs> but, will you tell, eat it and then tell us how you like it? Mmm. <laughs> Very good. Yeah? Mm. Okay. Mm. Better than last week, right? The, the peppers are much juicier. Yeah, I cut them thicker. Now it's the trick. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Thank you. I give you two, but I'm holding my fajita. <laughs> fair, <laughs> very fair. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Um, right. So mine is very similar to Jennifer's. The only difference is I put a little sour cream at the bottom, and I probably had slightly less salsa. Um, and I'm willing to eat it on camera. So. <laughs> well, it's less phallic when you do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not willing to eat it on camera. <laughs> Um, oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, I'm very pleased with the balance of flavors in the marinade this time. And the peppers are cooked nicely, juicy. Mm, very good. Love this dish. Mm. Highly recommend it. Hope you guys give it a try. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and thanks for watching. And please leave a comment. Take care.